Oxygen. Whenever we hear the word oxygen, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Trees, right? But did you know that the oceans produce more than 50% of the oxygen on our planet? All thanks to a little organism known as plankton. All ocean ecosystems contain marine plankton, which is essential to preserving the harmony and health of the ocean and its intricate food webs. The oxygen, nutrients, and biomass they produce also support terrestrial life, from the food we consume to the air we breathe. Phytoplankton, which are plants, and zooplankton, which are animals, are the two main categories of plankton. Zooplankton and other tiny marine organisms consume phytoplankton, which is then used as food by larger species like fish and crustaceans. Photosynthesis is the process through which phytoplankton grows. Oxygen is released into the water by phytoplankton during the process of photosynthesis. Since the oceans cover 71% of the planet, phytoplankton are in charge of producing up to 50% of the oxygen that humans breathe. Trees, bushes, grasses, and other plants that grow on land use photosynthesis to produce the remaining half. Phytoplankton is ultimately responsible for producing all the food in the ocean. They produce carbohydrates through photosynthesis, which is then consumed by small fish. These smaller fishes are then consumed by larger fishes and so on. In both freshwater and oceanic ecosystems, phytoplankton are essential autotrophic elements of the plankton community. Phytoplankton play a significant role in the climate system because they absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and then transfer it into the seafloor when they die. Yet despite their importance, phytoplanktons are under serious threat. According to a recent study, the amount of marine phytoplankton has been decreasing by around 1% of the global average year. The worldwide phytoplankton population has decreased by around 40% since 1950. The majority of the available research points to variations in temperature and nutrient supply rates as the primary causes of these phytoplankton trends. If the trend continues, it might destroy the ocean food web and accelerate global warming. However, phytoplankton are also threatened by the climate change, ocean acidification, pollution, and marine debris. In order to address the climate issue, humanity must explore for alternatives to trees, and phytoplankton is one such alternative. To decrease the effects of climate change and plastic pollution, you may contribute by changing your lifestyle. Help us to educate others by sharing this with your friends, family, and the rest of the world.